Okay, the hosing on the truck, what to look for. Look at your hosing, make sure that your covers are all unified, there's no steel showing, uh, there's no uh, cotton core hoses, the, the cloth on it is tore off, it is need to be replaced. Make sure that when it goes through the rollers, you got plenty of uh, room right here. I've seen these things bent down where somebody's dropped something on top of it, continue doing it, it wires the covering off of it and makes you have a weak hose and it'll start seeping. If you get hoses that you have to replace, what you do is you let the mass all the way down, get the pressure off the mask itself. Do not take any hose loose unless you've got the pressure off of it. If you do, you're going to get wet. You're going to get sprayed. And these things are high pressure hose. The fluid comes out at a real high pressure if you got it jacked up and there's nothing securing it, and it'll give you a, it'll cut you because it's, it's real high pressure. Uh, you don't want to get sprayed in the face or put an eye out or, you know, get you pretty damaged. Uh, but anytime you're doing any hose work, chain your mast up, chain your carriage up, get all the, get looseness into them, get them where they're not tight, and then you can take your fittings off and take them off slowly so the fluid will run out, put your pan and stuff under it, keep it, don't get the customer's floors good and slick. Uh, and then replace your hoses, put it back together, make sure everything's good and tight, but make sure you got plenty of coverage, there's no places wearing on the hosing or it's not rubbing or hitting anything because you'll wire right through the covers. So make sure they're good and tight. Make sure all your brackets are good and tight. Make sure you got the wire ties on them. The place if you cut wire ties off, these are on here for a purpose. Make sure that you put them back on. Don't leave them off. Don't leave your hose dangling. Make sure that everything goes up and down and make sure nothing's rubbing so you're not defeating your purpose of working on them. Main thing is safety. Just be real safe when you're working on this stuff. And like I say, chain everything up. Don't take any chances. And, uh, that's it. That's it. All right. I can't think of anything. Thanks.